Hello, and welcome to Let's Play X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter with me, Get Dave. So I know I normally do uh, 4X games or JRPGs, um, which used to be just called RPGs before a different subgenre kind of took them over and became much better. I digress. We're playing X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. It's a space combat sim. If you are not familiar with the series, which includes X-Wing, uh, TIE Fighter, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, and X-Wing Alliance, um, you have done yourself a terrible disservice. If you have played Rogue Squadron, any of the Rogue Squadron games, you have no idea. Like, they don't compare at all. That's more like an arcade shooter, um, hackery kind of thing. Uh, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter is what the real players play. Um, I'm gonna confess, my disc... <laughs> is a little on the old side. I love this game a lot, and you're gonna he hear me reminiscing a lot during this LP. So, you know, if you can't handle that, oh, this is not the one for you. Also, I was pretty good at this game, so, yeah. Some trash can be talked because I haven't played it in about 11 years, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be that rusty. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, this is a complete blind LP, aside from the fact that I'm already familiar with this game. So, yeah, we're going to do a basic furball, which is uh, uh, eight fighter free-for-all, and we're going to do the next wing, playing straight on hard difficulty. Uh, so let's see what happens, shall we? Now, I'm using the F8 key to record, so uh, there's another option you can have in here, which is to have, like, a tractor beam. Uh, we won't be using that. No missiles, because missiles are for cowards. No countermeasures, because what's the point if there's no missiles? You can have... Yeah, no, you know what, I'm going to explain some of these things later. Um, because I'm going in completely blind, I also don't know how the... Uh, how the recording's going to be in terms of getting all the audio levels right. Uh, so, my apologies, but it's totally going to be worth it. You're going to see me uh, without even knowing what the buttons to press are, because you got to use your entire keyboard in this game. Like, you're... Yeah, you got to know your crap. Um, the other thing is, this is not the game's soundtrack. Well, like, some of it is playing in the background. I, um, as I was saying, my disc wasn't holding up, so uh, I used an old ISO of it, but the game used CD sound and on, like, tracks 2 to 7, and then data for track 1. So and it would play the CD of itself, but for some reason, I, I don't know anything that either burned it correctly, or uh, it could be a problem with ISO mounting. To get it to work on Windows XP, I, uh, like, it didn't think the disc was there. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I am just playing some Star Wars music in the background, because you cannot play this game without Star Wars music. Let's rock. I hope this works. This is my first time in the engine with fraps running. Yeah, it looks okay. Alright, when you're playing melee style, first thing you need to know, period gets rid of the craft, or it gets rid of the cockpit. My trigger isn't working. Oh goodness. I think you can use, like, Alt-2 to fire. I'm using Alt-2 to fire, so I hope you can uh, appreciate my difficulty. What's the sound of me getting hit? And my uh, engine's got put out. So, you know, that part sucked. Alright. In the top left and right corners, you'll see my sensors. I don't know how I'm going to do this. He's going to pull two to fire. I don't mind that I crashed into him. I'm going to finish him off in a sec here. Not bad for not having a trigger, people. When you're dogfighting... You spend a lot of time switching to one-third throttle, which is the velocity your craft is the most maneuverable at. Oh, come on. Unfortunately for me... Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, we'll reveal the kill statistics. This is very difficult to do. <laughs> you press R to target the nearest craft. That's a pretty important one. Uh... In online games, you realistically always have your uh, shields turned off if you're in a shielded craft at all. That red light on my HUD was someone firing at me. 
You'll see it pop up soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, now we can hear some music. Alright. I'm still kind of in it. I really wish I could shoot. Whenever someone blows up nearby you, it's almost a guarantee that people are going to be going after you right away. So, uh... Come on. I completely switched targets there just because this guy's going to be coming for me soon anyway. So, well, he's in front of me. I might as well take care of the business a little bit. So much harder to kill AI ships in terms of uh, the fact that they use their shields. In online play, the extra maneuverability you get is free. Also, don't be afraid to crash into things. Anyway, I was saying before, uh, so yeah, you would use F10 to shut off your shields is one of the first things you do. That would have been great if I had the trigger. I won't be stopping complaining about that anytime soon. All I'm doing is uh, using a flight stick to fly with my right hand. Oh yeah. This is something I wanted to get out of the way right away. There's going to be a lot of potential masturbation jokes, so get them out of your system in the first LP. Otherwise, like, I'm going to be talking about using my stick a lot, and, you know, you're going to be distracted the whole time. So, <laughs> for the good one, share it. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, so one-third throttle uh, is maximum turning. You don't want to stick, even if you get caught up in a major dogfight, uh, a turning war essentially for those of you who are seriously noob. Someone's trying to kill me, as you can see by the red dot up there. Uh, the slower you go, the easier you are to hit. Um, so, I don't know, it's a bit of a... Well, I'm dead now, so that sentence doesn't even matter. The high pitched thwack sound you hear is my shields taking a hit. If it drops in pitch, that means you're taking a hull hit. If you look back at my first death, you'll note I wasn't moving. As soon as you take a hull hit, there's a chance that you're going to take systems damage. You're pretty much screwed, especially in online, uh, if you take any systems damage whatsoever. Because, like, the things that go... Destroying that ship is a bad idea, but we'll talk about that in a second. The first things to go are often your flight controls or your engines. And, I mean, sometimes you get lucky when you lose your flight controls, because you just sort of fly off into relatively safe space. But, uh... That's very rare. Normally you just die. A lot of people just eject, actually. Uh, side note for playing offline. If you are in a situation where you're going head-to-head -head with the computer, if they form- if they, like, got, uh, started charging you first, don't engage them like that. Alright. I don't know if you noticed that huge platform in the middle of the screen, but uh, it looks like our friend there. So yeah, I fired a couple shots there. I shouldn't have engaged as much as I did. As usual, listen to what I say rather than copy what I do. If only there were some other convenient saying to go with on that. hope the music's coming through well. I can't really hear it that well, but... Uh, seemed right in the recordings. This guy is seriously the closest there. Ugh. The button to go to one-third throttle is unfortunately uh, very far away from old square bracket. I didn't even get him. That's it. So yeah, the left square bracket puts you to one-third throttle, right square bracket puts you to two-thirds, which is kind of a useless velocity. Uh, it accomplishes neither, like, it accomplishes none of the good things, neither speed nor maneuverability. 
you're seeing me do what you won't typically see in online play is I'm just land taking more time to line up my shots. When you're charging head on, you've got about a kilometer and a half. Um, in the bottom right corner, you may be able to make out my speed. I don't know how the video quality is going to come through. But, uh. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. Yeah, an X-Wing's standard stop, top speed is about 100, which translates to meters per second in the game's physics. They've got some sort of fake sci-fi unit, but it's meters per second. Um, so when you're charging some... Oh, yeah. And now that other person will be mine. So when you're charging someone, dang, head-on, you've got about seven seconds before a collision. Uh, when you enter weapons range. Of course, when they're flying away from you, uh, weapons range isn't quite as good. Come on, I want to kill them! You'll note the targets aren't appearing in the center area on the bottom. Uh, it's because my screen's been destroyed because I took a hull hit. That's actually not that big a problem. I've got multiple people trying to kill me, that's more of a problem. I hit him with my corpse, though, so that part was nice. I've also got a pretty healthy lead if you can check the score there. So that's always a nice little detail. Online play is pretty different. Uh, well, I guess because it, it doesn't happen anymore, but also... I'm going to go for that other guy, because he is so close. Well, actually, no. Now that we're dogfighting, okay. Sorry if the commentary is really fragmented. Uh, it's already going to be naturally a pretty distracting environment, and I've got a lot of trains of thought to keep on mind. And my trigger doesn't do anything. Incidentally, your lasers do more damage when you're traveling fast. That one doesn't make that much sense to me. Come on, come on, I have to. Thank you. You can transfer small amounts of power between your systems. You'll note I have my lasers slightly recharging, and my shields with no power allocated to them. So there we go. Pretty good statistics. Uh considering I haven't played in a few years, my trigger didn't work, and uh, hard difficulty, which is the highest. <sighs> that was very awkward. Still, I had a good time. Uh, yeah, so in this game, power management's an important thing. Your systems, by default, are all at the middle level. They can go up, which we'll call 50%. They can go up to 75% or 100%, and they can go down to 0 or 25. At 50%, your lasers and shields will neither strengthen nor weaken on their own. Okay? So, if you shoot and fire a laser blast, that will be permanently coming out of that pool of energy that you have. It won't naturally bleed off, but it's not going to replenish, so you've got finite shots. I generally... If you bump your laser recharge rate up to 75%, you would get more firepower, or you would get regeneration on that, so as you shoot, the energy lost gets replaced, but it comes out of your speed. And consequently, maneuverability as well. I'm not sure what all the mechanics are, but uh, we can go back and I can show you a couple things here. So yeah, 100 MGLT. Why didn't this music play when I was fighting? I would have done so much better. Uh, 100 MGLT means meters per second in this game. 75 degrees, or DPF, I believe is degrees per second when you're at one-third throttle with all your energies evenly distributed. Okay, good talk. Uh, shield and hull rating. Uh, a laser blast I think does about 5, so an X-Wing firing quad lasers is 20 per hit. Uh, we'll talk more in a little bit, but that's going to have to wait till next time. I'll see you there.